Darren Osborne in a pub in Wales days before the attack. The police call him hate-filled with a history of violence, drug and alcohol abuse. In the pub, he wrote a letter which was found in the van he used for the attack. A letter so full of hatred for Muslims, say the police, that it's too offensive to release. He rents the van to drive to London. Police say to find Muslim targets. He says he wanted to kill opposition Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn. He drove all over London, arriving at the Muslim welfare house in Finsbury Park after midnight, where people were leaving after Ramadan prayers. And one man, Makram Ali, happened to fall ill on the street. CCTV footage shows the van moments before it drove into the crowd on the left of the screen. Darren Osborne drove down this road, the Seven Sisters Road, and into this little cul-de-sac where a crowd of people were trying to help Makram Ali, who by coincidence had fallen ill just a few moments before. He ploughed into the crowd. As he got out of his van, eyewitnesses in court said that he was smiling. The local imam protected him from the crowd until the police arrived moments later. The police say that this was an attack on all Londoners. No one, no one, hey, no one. The police have released a call from someone who asks for help for Makram Ali. Is he conscious? He's not conscious, he's not. He's but he's breathing. Then, <laughs> we hear the attack. Hello? Hello, mate. Someone just come with a big van and run over a whole lot of people. The police told me Darren Osborne acted alone, but right-wing extremism is a growing threat in Britain. We have arrested more individuals than we've ever done uh, in relation to domestic extremism-related uh, activity. Um, we've seen three groups prescribed by the government. Uh, the government has also appointed a new extremist commissioner, which is welcome. Um, and we are pushing more people through our Prevent and Channel programme um, relevant to, again, this category of people. This diverse community has suffered. I spoke to the imam who protected Darren Osborne from the angry crowd. There are lasting scars and wounds on those immediately affected. And then there is a lasting fear and, uh, and uh, concern in the air that what's to say that van or that car coming, speeding in our direction, isn't the next Darren Osborne. The troubled individual who turned into a politically motivated killer. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Finsbury Park in North London.